Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Chaos Vlogs. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And today, we're going to be going on a bike ride. And there might be a couple other things we're going to get up to. But without further ado, let's get on the bike. What's going on everybody? Um, I'm actually not going on a bike ride today. It is currently a long time after I posted the last video and sorry recorded the last video and I fell asleep for the rest of the day because I'm actually pretty sick so we're actually going to be showing some videos of my trip to California a while ago that I decided not to make a video on but because I'm going to be missing today um I guess I'll show some of those clips so hope you enjoy if not click out of the video and I hope you have a wonderful day now without further ado Let's get right into it. Honestly, ridiculous. How do you feel about this, Lauren? This view, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Literally at the hottest place on earth. It looks pretty hot. It looks pretty cold to me. And there's freaking snow in view, at least. Yeah. Well, it's because it's on top. That's like 11,000 feet over there. I'm pretty sure that's 11.5. I saw on the map. Bro, look at that salt basin or whatever. It's sediment. At least sand. Damn. How you feel about that, bro? What, the desert? Yeah. Sandy. Sandy? Sandy. Sandy? Sandy boat on tray. Look at that shit, bro. That's this ridiculous. This would go crazy. I go crazy with a snowboard. <laughs> Oh damn! Look how there's a dude down there. Yeah, dude. I'm like, holy crap! You can't even see him. I'm like, that's a. Speck. Yeah, dude. But that should probably a illegal forced erosion. Like down there. Hmm. I thought you were about to just like jump. No. Like, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> 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 bro, look at that, bro. The reason you see the discoloration of the sand is actually because the green, reddish, and other colored 
sediment that is on the hillside and all over the place in Death Valley is because of the oxidation of things like copper, which turns green when oxidized, and iron, usually, as you have probably seen, turns red-ish when oxidized. Oh god, it's like foresty, something bad about the forest. Geronimo! Oh, what a good little rock. Oh, he got some kick on him. He's still going. I know, I can barely see it. <laughs> oh, he's slow. I want to do it too. Oh, he broke. Oh. Bro, I didn't see him. even fucking put him. Yeah, you can't see him at all on the camera. Well, this shit's insane, bro. What's one word to describe this? Hilly. <laughs> now I am actually entering the bottom of Death Valley or the valley part of Death Valley and it is actually negative 282 feet below sea level so if half of this area was along the coast it would be completely underwater and would simply just be mountains that instantly go into the ocean. And as you all probably know Death Valley is the highest recorded temperature on planet earth at 134.1 degrees fahrenheit which on average is about only a hundred but it has peaked the highest temperature ever recorded in earth's history of humans being around and recording temperatures of course jeez Got the post office, some product placement, hella mini saloons. Oh shit, got some turf. Dude, that literally looks so fake, but I think it's real. What you say about that? I mean, I guess that might be real. No, it's definitely real. But they fertilize, oh yeah, there's fertilize. I didn't mean to walk on this, just fertilize the crap out of that stuff though. Wow, bro, and like I can't underestimate the smell of this place. Like it smells so good. I think it's because of the restaurant. I'm gonna have to try that shit out. We got some natural wildlife. Got the pigeons, got, got the pigeons, bro. But I mean like to be honest, this place is fucking sick, dog. Got the 1860s type vibe going. Got some kids crying. Let's not worry about that. And then we got the parking lot and the mountains, bruh. Look at them babies. You're in the hottest place in the world because it's actually hot down here. Like from up there, I was just up there. It is a serious temperature difference. Not quite all the way up there, but I was at a point right down there. Input video. That's crazy. Dog, they wrote some cab shit, bro. Braised short ribs, $50, $58. Okay, I guess this is like a turkey club. Is Caesar $20. salad for a salad is oh, $20. Isn't bad. This isn't, I feel like a garden burger for $20 isn't bad. Oh, here we go. This is Well, that's ridiculous. The barn grills. Wait, how much did you say the cereal was? Oh, no, it's still about $9. Bro, what? Where? Where is it at? Are you fucking kidding me? That's assorted cereal. Nine dollars. That's ridiculous.
What you think, Lauren? Rock! Covered water, bad water basin. And this part of Death Valley is called Bad Water Basin. And the reason they called it Bad Water is because when one of the first few people who discovered it, um, the settlers, actually believed that it was poisonous water, and so they called it Bad Water Basin. But it was actually just because of the extremely high salt content that you will see me try very shortly. And if you're wondering why Death Valley gets so hot, it's actually because the mountain range acts as somewhat of a sort of reflector bowl. So when the sun rays come down and reflect off the mountain, and then as you're seeing it on the floor, obviously some of those photons are hitting that mountain very high and then angling down towards the bottom of the valley, and then it hits the ground of the valley and repels off and goes and hits another mountain and then you know that light will also some fraction of it will eventually come right back down to the valley and then reflect off the ground and go and hit right back on the mountain range and eventually that air after being bombarded with photons all day long especially in very low wind situations will become very very hot Oh my goodness. Oh my god, okay, I thought you were coming to get me. I was like, no, please! Please, no! Okay, he's coming to get himself. <laughs> 